Yamaha presents The Whitetail Diaries, chronicling hunting adventures of the most plentiful and intelligent big game animal in North America. Join top whitetail hunters nationwide. Embark on the amazing adventure that is hunting the whitetail deer. Well, this week on the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries, Wade is traveling to central Kentucky in search of hunting a deer in velvet. I've had an opportunity to take one whitetail deer in velvet uh, in my life. I took a deer with a crossbow. It's totally lucky, totally freak deal. But that didn't stop the dream that I had of going on a, on a whitetail hunt somewhere in the southeast. In fact, if anything, it made me more enamored and more excited to, to find the time to make it happen. But matching schedules up and finding a location to be able to do that was, was proving tough to me with my other travels and things I had going on. And so I decided that I was gonna basically do like a lot of people do. I was gonna, I was gonna use an outfitter. You know, I went with Worldwide uh, Trophy Adventures, got a great tie to the Cabela's family there. Uh, began calling around, talking to the staff, was working with Caleb Sutton on it and, and Mark Peterson over there. And it just so happened that Salt River Outfitters was one they highly recommended and said, look, wait, George coming says he's got one spot left for this year, he can get you in. And I was sending the check that day. When hunting with us here at Salt River Outfitters, it, you know, you can expect to kill a Pope and Young class animal. Uh, you know, anything 125 and up is kind of what we're encouraging our hunters to shoot. Uh, our average this year has been pretty well. Our average last year is pretty good also. And a lot of that's due to not hunting the tree stands when you don't have the right wind and not overpressuring our farms. You know, we don't hunt the season every day through the season. We'll bring in a group of hunters, hunt for two weeks, and we may not hunt our properties for a month. When you come hunt with us, you're not hunting pressured deer. And that, that's what you have to do in order to kill big deer consistently. And, and it's showing, you know, our, our success is really showing. You know, another cool thing about a, a trip to places like this is that I like to always drive through these little towns, you know, go to the local cafe when you get a chance, go downtown, see what they've got going on, look for some of the, you know, most unique items that'll be going on. They had a, a, a healing field and a, a big memorial wall for veterans in Lawrenceburg where we were staying at. And I, I thought that was a great addition to the, to the hunt. They've also got a lot of big distilleries in this area, Four Roses, Wild Turkeys, uh, you know, brewed right around here. So, I mean, it's pretty impressive when you get a chance to travel and hunt places like this. If you take some time and do a little bit of tourist type stuff as well. You, know, you have to think a September hunt um, in the southeast area, you, you know, you're going to see highs in the 80s, 90s, uh, lows maybe getting down the upper 60s. You know, it can be very, very hot. But as we were getting closer and closer, rain was the dominating factor. The remnants of a hurricane was coming right up over the area, I dumped some flooding rain, two to four, five inches of rain made things muddy, but made things cooler. You know, in my mind, I'm thinking, boy, they're gonna get up. We're gonna see some good deer go down. So as we're kind of gearing up and everybody's easing out, heading to the stands, um, you know, working our way in there, we got to our location and we're, you know, hiking down basically what's the top of a ridge, kind of working our way about halfway down it in there. All the guides had talked about the different bedding areas, talked to George about some of the areas that he thought the deer were gonna travel in and out of. We kind of slid across the, uh, the field and started working our way up into the stands and, and it to me just felt like a great evening set. It was going to be a great evening set no matter what, but man, my anticipation, I got to tell you, I was, uh, I was like a kid on Christmas Eve knowing that Santa was here. Be sure to stay current on our latest prices and giveaways. Like us on Facebook and follow along on all our entries into the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries. The Yamaha Whitetail Diaries is brought to you by Yamaha ATV and Side-by-Sides. Real world tough. Cabela's, it's in your nature. Garmin Rhino 7 Series. Wherever you hunt, make it Rhino country. The all-new Yamaha Wolverine X4 offers four times the proven off-road capability. 
four times the comfort and four times the confidence to deliver four times the excitement on your next outdoor adventure. For sale, Lakeside Getaway, solid construction with mudroom. For 200 bucks, no mortgage necessary. Cabela's West Wind Dome Tent, great price. Lifetime guarantee, only at Cabela's. Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries with Wade Middleton. We join Wade in a tree stand in central Kentucky as he prepares to hunt a whitetail buck in velvet. Yeah, after settling into the stand, you know, Kevin was uh, running the camera behind me. Pretty awkward <laughs> little setup, but you got, you know, you got to go where the tree is. And uh, I had chosen, decided to, to try to sit down on this uh, particular hunt here. Felt like it gave me the best opportunities to shoot across this little food plot and along this little uh, edge of, of brush here. And everybody felt pretty confident that the deer traffic would be coming, you know, off our right. The wind was blowing kind of in off of our left here a little bit blowing away off and down into another valley. We were kind of looking down in another holler, another valley in front of us. And uh, we'd sit for a couple of hours when a doe and a couple of fawns kind of began meandering by. A great sign, you know, I didn't expect the bigger bucks to get up till later in any way. And then here come another little group of does. They were a little bit more nervous. We kind of lost our wind. They were kind of probably sending us a little bit maybe. Uh, or heard us moving in the stand, not really sure what, but you know, we were getting closer and closer to the magic time. Coming out of the right, there was a couple of cedar trees there, and here was coming a stud, and this stud was in velvet. My heart instantly started going up. I could feel the excitement, and you know, he's easing, and I'm thinking, this deer is on a string. He's gonna work down this little edge of this food plot. He's, he's gonna cross 13, maybe 15 yards by, and I've got a, a, a tree limb hanging right there that I know he has to get past before Kevin can see him, but he also has to get past that before I can get a shot. And I'm just sitting there, bow's on a hanger, and I've just got my hands on the bow waiting to lift it off. I'll just smoothly go to full draw. I mean, this was, this was gonna be about as easy as a setup as a guy could have. And the deer stopped. And he stood there, and he stood there, and he stood there. And my heart rate went up. My heart rate went up even more. And I, I mean, I'm just sitting there watching this deer, and he's not even really moving. He's just kind of hanging out. And there was another younger buck behind him, but I never even looked at that deer because the deer I'm looking at was tall, big, wide, mature, and he was in velvet. I'm a big believer in shooting when you're the most confident. I'm the big big believer in, you know, a quartering uh, towards your deer, even slightly at all, is a, is, is a hard shot. Especially of a big deer, any deer really. I, there's no especially about it. And this deer to me never really opened up for the shot that I wanted to take. He never really turned the right way. Could I have taken that shot? Could I have killed him? Absolutely. But it was more apt to wound him. At least that was the angle that I kept seeing in my mind from where I was. So in those types of situations, you just, there's no need. There's no need to take that shot. I kept waiting for that deer to come the right way. He just simply went the other way. Hurt my heartbeat or whatever it might have been, but he was looking at me 
stay tuned to see if Wade gets another encounter here on the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries. The Yamaha Whitetail Diaries is brought to you by Thompson Center, America's master gun maker. Purina Quick Draw Mineral Blocks, a difference you can see. Stealth Cam Digital Scouting Cameras, proven. Angle Coolers, a legend in reliability. The art of the hunt is not painted with a broad brush. Its eye is in the details. The note on the refrigerator. A set of broadheads, tried and true. The well-worn boots, soaked in dough estrus. And a Garmin Rhino, the only GPS with two-way radio. Clear the rhubarb out of the freezer. It's whitetail season in rhino country. What does it take to make Evercom deer scent? It takes a deer farmer who raises whitetails. It takes mixing the special blend of Evercom, testing each batch. That smells good. And then pouring each container. Once it's cooled, each container is cleaned, examined, and packaged for shipping. It takes the finest deer herd and a great team of people to make the best hunting scent available. Evercom from Conquest Scents. Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries with Wade Middleton. Well, now it's the following day in the afternoon and Wade is heading back out to the same stand where he saw that buck in velvet the day before, hoping that he'll return. It's counterproductive to hunt deer in the mornings when they're on a feeding pattern. These, these large bachelor groups on these feeding patterns, if you bust these deer out in the morning trying to go in in the dark, they're not on the same pattern they were the night before. So when we set up on these deer, we're setting up on food sources to kill them when they come out in the afternoon and just hunting mornings is counterproductive. So our hunters love being able to sleep in and just kind of goof off, play pool, play ping pong, go play golf, go fishing, whatever, and then just going out for a good relaxing hunting afternoon. The wind wasn't really perfect for another place that George wanted us to go, and so I was all about going back where we sat the night before and, and giving that deer one more chance. I mean, I, I'd already mounted that deer. I had a place in my mind where I was gonna hang him. I'm good. And so we go back in the stand where we got geared up, did everything, climbed the fence, eased down to the stand, got set up. We sat for about four and a half hours and uh, we never saw a deer that night. That happens, that's, that's hunting. You know, would I have done anything different? No, because I know there's a shooter there and I almost got a shot at him the night before, so why do something different? But, you know, you can hindsight that stuff 2020. You've got to make a decision and you got to live with it. I was great with that decision because I knew what lived there. You know, a big part of our trip to Kentucky was also going to include going down to Asheville, North Carolina, where the Yamaha motorcycle and side-by-side -side team was going to be launching some incredible new products for the 2018 year coming up. So as we're getting ready to head out right now for our final afternoon of hunting, part of my mind is already looking forward to what's coming ahead because I know Yamaha's got some great new innovative products. So as we're walking out to this field for the final setup for the final day, you can kind of see how great it would have been to have an ATV or a side by side on some of this trip right here because we're going to walk maybe about a mile and a half around this big long flat rolling hill. We've got some soybean fields on one side we're hiking by. Once we get up on top of a ridge, we're going to ease down a little bit further into a couple of a pinch points that are going to be set up in the area. Really looks like a pretty unique setup for the wind that we've got. We've got it coming from our right off to our left shoulder and there's a big pond kind of coming up out of a little valley there with lots of bedding areas in that same spot. According to everything that we're being told by the guides and by George, the deer have really been hitting this spot pretty hard late in the evening, which is what you would kind of expect for an open area like this. It's a great feeding area. So we're gonna climb way up in a tree. We're about 22 feet up this evening. We'll get set up. And we'll see what comes in for our final evening in Kentucky.
This stand is pretty phenomenal from a setup standpoint. Uh, I can see deer coming from 360 degrees and we've got deer that have eased out in a lot of these edges as the sun's setting. We've got about an hour and a half probably left in the hunt right now and the deer are starting to show up. We've had one giant buck cross about 250, 300 yards behind us. We've had some fawns come by, a few does. Turkeys have hit the area, but one negative. We've got two coyotes working the area pretty hard. Want to see more Whitetail Diaries content? Subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch your favorite moments and behind the scenes footage from the show. The Yamaha Whitetail Diaries is brought to you by Smith & Wesson Performance Center. Performance when it matters most. 10 point crossbows, perfection lives here. Yamaha ATV and side-by-sides, real world tough. When they canceled school today, you could have stayed at home like all the other kids, laid up on the couch playing video games in your sweatpants. Nah. Best snow day ever. Introducing the new TC Compass, only by Thompson Center. Follow your own compass with America's master gun maker. High Viz Shooting Systems knows that your shooting performance matters in all conditions. All high vis shooters experience faster target acquisition with our durable light wave sights. Featuring easily interchangeable light pipes, light wave sights give your eyes the exact sight picture you crave. Shoot high vis. See what you've been missing. Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries with Wade Middleton. Kentucky was a phenomenal hunt. If I really look back on this hunt, the encounter that first evening was everything I could have dreamed of. You know, in bow hunting, you can sometimes kind of judge your success and failures by having a mature deer in front of you, having an opportunity to shoot one. I traveled all the way over to Kentucky for one simple goal. I wanted to harvest a deer in velvet that was a mature great whitetail buck. I had him right there. He just never gave me a shot that I was comfortable with that I felt like I could get drawn without putting him on full alert and without ducking. I don't regret it. I held off on a shot because I thought it was the right thing to do and the deer walked off into the distance. We'll be back to Kentucky and we'll hunt them again. Now we're going to wrap up what I teased at the beginning of this. We're going to be at Asheville, North Carolina and Yamaha is rolling out some impressive new products for 2018. Check them out right now, rolling out behind me.
For model year 2018, Yamaha introduced the Wolverine X4. It's a four seat side by side, the most off road capable four seat side by side in its class. Specifically, when you get into tight technical terrain, it's compact chassis, all new 847cc parallel twin cylinder engine, smooth, quiet, comfortable. I mean, that's in a nutshell what it is. It'll go places you wouldn't expect a four seat vehicle to go, and then it'll do it better than any other four seat vehicle out there. Uh, we like to say Yamaha uh, side-by-sides are proven off-road for a variety of reasons. One is off-road capability is at, the, is at the top of what we want to achieve when we, when we build these ATVs and side-by-sides. And number two, we want to build in a level of comfort and confidence uh, that, that enable you to go places without being freaked out. You know, get to those places where you want to go, places you want to reach, scouting, hunting, just epic adventure type stuff and get you back. Um, thanks to the durability and reliability, we build into these things proven off-road. I mean, we hold ourselves to a standard far above the competition. And again, that's why we think Yamaha's ATV and side-by-sides are proven off-road. And the Wolverine X4 is a perfect example. I mean, the beauty of, of building a four-seat vehicle obviously is, is occupancy, right? You can take four people, the driver and three passengers, and you have some cargo capacity as well. Beauty of the X4 is that rear seat goes away if you want. And not all the way, but it does stow. It kind of cinches up against that front row to give you a full cargo bed at that point. And you have 600 pounds capacity back there, which you know, is pretty impressive when it comes to a, a kind of a recreation pointed vehicle. Not to mention you got 2,000 pounds towing on top of that if you want it. So versatility really is the name of the game here. It's there at your fingertips. And it's, it's incredible to have that flexibility, that versatility in a vehicle that'll go to places the Wolverine X4 will. Again, and you combine some of all its parts, Yamaha durability, reliability, it all comes together to make this thing really at the top of its class the moment it was introduced. So definitely want people to take this and kind of make their own adventure with it. Uh, we talked about versatility, two, four, three, four people, cargo, towing. You know, want people to get out, do things they've never done. Get outdoors, go hunting, go explore trails, go see new things. Just get outside, and uh, the X4 is really the vehicle to make that happen. You'll be seeing more of the Yamaha Wolverine X4 in more Whitetail Diaries to come, but feel free to learn more about it at YamahaOutdoors.com. Now, the next time you're thinking about booking a hunt or fishing trip, be sure to consider Worldwide Trophy Adventures. With over 55 years of experience in the travel service industry, well, the professional consultants at Worldwide Trophy Adventures has what it takes to ensure you're taken care of from the time you leave your doorstep until the moment you return to your home. Let WTA Travel Services facilitate all of your traveling needs so you can save the time and hassle of doing it on your own. Visit their website at WorldwideTrophyAdventures.com to book your next adventure. Well, that'll do it here on the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries. We'll see you next time. Efficient power, shooting 370 feet per second at only 140 pounds of draw weight. The Ultralight Eclipse RCX boasts next generation reverse cam technology, taking your performance to inspiring new levels. 10 point, perfection lives here. Man versus nature, it's a tale as old as time. An external struggle, pitting the hero against an animal in a battle of strength and wits to see who will come out victorious. Will you accept the challenge? Performance Center by Smith & Wesson. Performance when it matters most. You work hard to put feed where you need it, when you want it. And thanks to our patented Spintex spinner mechanism that elevates up and down, you'll no longer have feed go to waste due to wind or unwanted varmints. When the motor is shut off, the spinner plate is automatically pushed up tight and sealed against the hopper, protecting your feed. Stop wasting your time and let the Spintech technology work for you. Many said that we were just obsessed when we started, that there had to be an easier way to smoke food. 
As time passed, the Bradley family created a lineup of Bradley electric smokers that has made it easier for the novice or even expert chef to get perfect results every time they use it. Grab yourself a Bradley smoker and take your cooking to an all new level. Stealth Cam. Proven reliability. Proven quality. Proven performance. Stealth Cam continues to push the boundaries of technology and innovation with its next generation of trail cameras. Proven performance in extreme conditions. Proven. Stealth Cam. Join the Trail Cam revolution. Ingles got the original high performance cooler and a whole lot more. Ingle coolers go with the original. The Bubba Blade 4-inch Gut Hook, featuring Mossy Oak Breakup Country, fashions a high-carbon stainless steel blade built perfectly to meet your needs. Designed for effective precision cutting, the famous Bubba Blade handle, featuring Mossy Oak Breakup Country, providing ultimate control when harvesting your game. Bubba Blade, the ultimate sportsman's knife. Purina's Quick Drunk is the perfect solution for attracting deer to your location and providing them with the essential nutrients that will encourage their growth. Use these blocks where you can and I promise you, not only are you going to see more game, but the game's going to benefit from you placing it out. Hercules Outdoor Industries is the new leader in hunting blinds. However you hunt, Hercules is the one blind for all needs. Hercules blinds are entirely made in the USA using high quality fiberglass components that can last through rain, snow, and all those cold winters. All Hercules fiberglass hunting blinds are foam insulated and carpeted, and Hercules Outdoor Industries will arrange to have it delivered directly to you. Find out more at HerculesOutdoors.com. When you're out hunting, make sure you're carrying Grove Tech. Grove Tech is designed specifically for the rigorous demands of the hunt and sets the standard for strength and ruggedness when out in the field. Grove Tech products have simply built the best tools for the job and are proudly made in the USA. Go hunt. We'll carry the gun. Grove Tech. Since 1984, Sawyer Products has offered the most technologically advanced solutions for protection against sun and bugs. Sawyer Picaridin Insect Repellent is effective against mosquitoes and flies. It's safe on you and your gear. And to maximize your protection, use a combination of Picaridin with odorless permethrin for your clothing and gear. Sawyer Stay Put Sunscreen will keep you comfortable and getting better protection for even longer. You're already outdoors. Sawyer keeps you there. Every day, your eyes are exposed to dust, debris, and wind. Only Wiley X removable gaskets block it all out, and your eyes remain safe. Wiley X, absolute premium protection for sportsmen. Protect it or lose it. 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 Trusted and used by the most experienced sportsmen to keep their game cold and fresh, Arctic Ice is the most reliable and longest lasting reusable cooler pack available. But you don't have to be a serious hunter or extreme fisherman to enjoy all the benefits of Arctic Ice in your cooler. Whether it's road trips with the family, weekend tournaments, or backyard barbecues, 
Arctic Ice will make sure your cooler stays ice cold for days with no mess. Arctic Ice, no hassle, no mess, colder than the rest.